everyone and welcome to another video. This time is going to be a new event for Afma, I believe her name is pronounced. I'm not quite sure. The, the MMO characters tend to have some really out there names. So it's hard to know how it's supposed to be pronounced. But either way, this is her Cosmo stage. I have not attempted this yet. I uh, this team is mostly a kind of randomly put together team. No real rhyme or reason for it other than I really want to try the characters together. Vayne mostly because he's still a very Powerful and long-lasting DPS. Setzer because I recently found some artifacts for him and I want to see how he fares. I'm fully expecting him to be completely used up by the end of this. But hopefully not. And Ash, partially because I... Mostly because of her stun, I believe the boss is a singular target, so I can possibly delay it and stun it quite a lot. I have no idea how tanky it is or anything, but either way, this should be decently easy from what I've heard, but it's Cosmos, so it's probably going to wreck me. And I brought along Quistis because she is still quite amazing as a friend unit. That delay is just fantastic. And I'm bringing Ifrit with me because I just prefer that 80, that 25% attack bonus. And I think the boss is weak to lightning, but I'm not really a big fan of Rama as a summon to bring along. I'd rather have my attacks do a bit more than having a bit higher max, because I don't think I'm going to be hitting that max for the most part. Either way, uh, let's give this a shot. I've never done the cosmos before so I'm not sure fully what to expect That's not too bad for a first wave. Try to take this out first. And we'll use a red card here, just to get through this. Hmm, I kind of figured they'd put two here. Doesn't seem to have too much health, honestly. So having this buff active is going to be very helpful for Setzer.
Now that's something that's quite weird to me. Why did that overflow? I don't think that attack naturally has overflow to it. We'll be going into the final wave with our summon charged and a good chunk of skills kept. Could have popped his C65 right away and used that second Seize Joker. Push him back a little bit. It doesn't look like he has too much health. And yeah, <laughs> Setzer is hitting pretty hard there. Rockway. Enjoy your zero wave. I am honestly really enjoying what Seth is here to the party right now. Use another red card. Push him back even further. Thane's actually hidden his maximum here. I didn't expect that. Now let's see if this boss is actually immune to stun or not, because I tend to forget to check. And it is not! Nice. Just sort of a bit of skill usage. Unfortunately, I think that's going to take a... Yeah, that takes a turn off from the free stroker as well. Let's push him back a little bit further. And then use Tree of Sephira to basically gain back most of the skills I used there. I'm assuming that means it gains some kind of buff. Not quite sure at the moment, but we keep going. Here's another Mockway with the power on the damage. And now use a Freeze Joker. Doesn't matter what he does now. Let's actually bring in Christus instead of Bane. 
just to maximize the other two. This should be hitting pretty hard. Uh, pop another C65 with Setzer. Very nice. I have no idea if this. Yes, it just hit the maximum. Nice. Oh, this is gonna be fantastic. Didn't hit the max, but. Battered by other characters enough. And single targets just aren't much of a threat anymore, are they? Because I'm hitting like a good almost 70, 80,000 there. It's probably already stunned, but I'm doing this mostly for damage. And there we go. And honestly, very easy cosmos. Well, as far as I'm concerned. I'm honestly quite amazed that my Setzer wasn't spent there. I still have at least one usage of of red card left, which I count as a win. That went splendidly. <laughs> honestly, I kind of probably avoided a few grave breaks there. And gotten an even higher score, but I'm very happy with this. But actually, since this isn't something I usually do, but let me show off my artifacts, since some people might be interested in seeing them. These are my artifacts for Feyun right now. They really aren't the best. I'm probably going to be trying to get better ones for him in, in a while, but for right now, these are serviceable. These are the ones I have on Setzer. From what I read, at attack 180 and max brave 330 tend to be the prioritization for him. But since he has the is a bit of rework now, I thought having an all-in boost might be nice for him. And it seems to be working pretty well. I'm definitely going to be hunting for better stuff for him right now, but. I'm pretty happy with what I have. And let's see what I have on Asher. I uh, got two pretty much perfect ones except for the, the CP cost and the Max Brave 330 and Mighty Heaven's Wrath is mostly just something to kind of hold space until I hopefully get another attack one away in Max Brave 330. Either way, I think most of them have pretty decent uh, artifacts on them right now. Not perfect by any means, but more than 
good enough to handle this content. But either way, uh, if anyone's going to be pulling on Lion EX and Alphamaz, uh weapons, I wish you luck. I wish you luck on if you're going to be trying to stage. Honestly, it's a single target, so if you have a delay team set up, you can probably handle it pretty well. But until next time, everyone.